How to make combat more exciting. Guy from How to be a great GM just made a video about this. And while I would second everything he said in that video, go watch it. I think I can add a few points to that. That might be even more critical. So, do everything he said. Describe the combat very dramatically. Uh, do the effort, take the effort to, to describe the combat in an exciting way. So even if, if your characters are missing their attacks, if they shoot an entire magazine with their machine gun uh, and don't hit the enemy, describe how it, how it hits the scenery around the enemy. Uh, let the shots hit into trees, into the ground, making dirt explode upwards. Let it hit bottles and pottery in the background that explode in a thousand shards. If they strike the enemy with their axe and miss, maybe it goes into a tree and they have to rank it out. A bit of collateral scenery damage goes a long way to make your descriptions more exciting. But I think there is even more potential to make combat more exciting if you first make it meaningful. If your combat is just an encounter to for, for the sake of having a combat encounter, it's not very interesting from a storytelling perspective, is it? Even in a, in a straight up action movie, like an old Bruce Lee movie or John Wick or something, you need a reason for the violence. Why are you fighting? What objective do you want to achieve? What objective does the enemy want to achieve, give a dramatic reason for the fight and don't just have super random encounters and yell initiative and hope that will magically get your players exciting. Now, I always try to make an effort when describing attacks and when I'm a GM and my players don't describe attacks as much as I'd like to I describe that for them. I put in the effort to make it more exciting. But, especially in D&D 5e, it becomes hard when the enemy has a lot of hit points and combat drags on. If uh, in the first or second round of combat I strike the enemy with my weapon or strike it even twice and I I describe how I whack him with my morning star left and right and do my two attacks. Um, that's alright, but then next combat round when I'm doing the same action again, strike him left and right or grab his head striking up and down or hit him in the knees or something, it's still the same combat action. I'm still just doing two attacks. And depending on how many hit points the, the enemy has, how long this combat drags on, it becomes hard to think of new stuff and to have the motivation to describe these actions. And it kind of becomes of a chore just riddling down the hit points of the enemy. And 5e e at high level, PCs and enemies can have really high hit points. It's way more dramatic to describe an attack and the effect of the attack if after that attack the enemy is dead on the ground or has at least lost like half of its hit points. And it's a dramatic attack. The enemy is reeling from the wound. Blood is gushing from a gap in its shoulder. Maybe it's lost an arm or something. But if you do like... 20 damage to a 200 hit point dragon, it's but a scratch, isn't it? So naturally in systems with more deadly combat, 
the uh, the action becomes way more frantic and way more dramatic. Any action has a huge reaction. And also the, the player will put way more effort into uh, thinking about clever combat tactics if they can just brute force the way through. So, um, yeah, you could try out a different combat system, a different rule set with lower hit points and higher player mortality, like a few hours R's, uh, Call of Cthulhu, Forbidden Lands is pretty deadly. Or you could modify D&D, something like a hardcore mode, to make it more deadly. So radically lower the hit points of both the players and the monsters. And then if you take a lesson from the Witcher series, make monster fights a bit of a puzzle. Make monsters so tough that so dangerous, so tough, that your PCs don't want to fight them head-on. Even if they win in a head-on contest with the monster, it should be super dangerous and uh, take up a lot of resources. But if they are clever about it, if they uh, make a trap for the monster, an ambush, if they find out what the monster's weakness is, then they can use this to the advantage and make the combat uh, more easy on their part and also quicker. So make the combat a bit of a puzzle. And uh, an example I thought of, if you want to portray a really tough enemy, don't just give it a lot of hit points. Give it something like damage reduction armor. So maybe it just has uh, 20 hit points or something, but it's got an armor score of 10 against profane attacks, slashing, piercing and bashing damage. So if the players just attack it and attack it with small weapons for that matter, they will have a really hard time getting through that armor. But if they know about that armor, they can prepare big weapons beforehand. Maybe they even get something like explosive devices or something like a ballista, a siege weapon to do massive damage in one attack to get through that armor. And Maybe the accuracy and the loading time of that ballista is so bad that they first have to mobilize the enemy, at least for one round of combat, so they can probably aim that ballista and then let them have it. So yeah, that's, those are my two thoughts about making combat more exciting. Make combat matter and make combat dangerous and deadly. What are you doing to make combat more exciting so, so your players are at the edge of their seats every combat round and cheering whenever they roll a natural 20? Let me know in the combat. <laughs> Let me know in the combat below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, consider subscribing to my channel and liking it down below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.